Okay, hello Cloud Gurus and welcome to this lecture. This lecture is a theoretical lecture and it's on Snowball. So you might be thinking, what is Snowball? Well, this is a Snowball. This is what they look like. They're basically big, big disks. So a Snowball is a petabyte scale data transport solution that uses secure appliances to transfer large amounts of data into and out of AWS. So like I said, it's a big disk. It's a way of getting a huge amount of data into AWS. And you can also use it to export data from AWS. And using Snowball addresses common challenges with large scale data transfers, including high network costs, long transfer times, and security concerns. Transferring data with Snowball is simple, fast, secure, and can be as little as one-fifth the cost of using high-speed internet. And Snowball basically comes in two flavors. You've got 50 terabytes or 80 terabytes. So Snowball uses multiple layers of security designed to protect your data, including tamper-resistant enclosures, 256-bit encryption, and an industry-standard trusted platform module, or TPM, which is designed to ensure both security and full chain of custody of your data. And once your data transfer job has been processed and verified, AWS performs a software erasure of the Snowball appliance, and they do it in such a way that you can't just take a Snowball and restore the data um, from previous customers as well. It's completely wiped. So it's basically, they nuke it essentially. Um, we also have a Snowball Edge. So Snowball Edge comes in 100 terabytes worth of data. And this is a device with an onboard storage and compute capabilities. So you can actually run like Lambda functions from Snowball Edge. And we're going to cover off what Lambda is later, but essentially this gives you compute and storage. And you can use Snowball Edge to move large amounts of data in and out of AWS as a temporary storage tier for large local data sets, or also to support local workloads in remote or offline locations. And to give you an idea, um, one of the major airlines, they do a lot of uh, testing of the aircraft and they actually have uh, Snowball Edges in their aircraft. And um, this not just storing data inside the aircraft, but it's also doing compute. It's running like Lambda functions as well. Um, so it's basically a snowball edge is kind of like having a mini AWS uh, in your, you know, at your disposal. Um, so Snowball Edge connects to your existing applications and infrastructure using standard storage interfaces, streamlining the data transfer process and minimizing setup and integration. And Snowball Edge can cluster together to form local storage tiers and process your data on premise, helping ensure your applications continue to run even when they are not able to access the cloud. So like I said, it's like having a sort of a portable a version of AWS. So what is Snowmobile? Well, Snowmobile is just insane. It's an exabyte scale data transfer service used to move extremely large amounts of data to AWS. And you can transfer up to 100 petabytes per snowmobile. And it's basically a 45 foot long ruggedized shipping container, which is being pulled by a semi trailer truck. And it makes it easier to move massive volumes of data to the cloud, including video libraries, image repositories, or even a complete data center migration. And transferring data with Snowmobile is secure, fast, and cost-effective. So this is when you should use a Snowball. So basically, we're looking at different available internet connections here. So we've got a T3, which is 44.736 megabits per second. We've got 100 megabits per second, and then we've got 1,000 megabits per second. And if we were pushing 100 terabytes at those different speeds, you can see how long it's going to take. So it's going to take 269 days or 120 days or 12 days. So um, if you were basically going to use AWS Snowball with those different three different speeds, they, over here is the different uh, amounts that you should consider using Snowball. So two terabytes or more for this uh, connection, five terabytes or more for 100 megabits per second, and then 60 terabytes or more for 1000 megabits per second. So that's all Snowball is. What are my exam tips? Well, just remember what Snowball is. Remember that Snowball can import to S3 and X Export from S3 as well. And that's really it. You really just need to, if you get a scenario based question talking about moving large amounts of data into the AWS cloud, you want to use Snowball. So the next lecture is just a fun lecture. It's completely optional. It's where we actually get a Snowball and we connect it up and then we um, basically uh, copy some files to our Snowball and then send it off to AWS. That will not come up in your exam at all. Um, so if you want to skip the next lecture, fine. But if you've got the time, please join me in the next lecture. After that, we're going to cover off Storage Gateway, and then we're going to summarize the rest of this section of the course. So if you've got the time, please join me in the next lecture. Thank you.